Economic Club of New York. The Economic Club of New York is a U.S. nonprofit and nonpartisan membership organization dedicated to promoting the study and discussion of social, economic, and political questions. History. The Economic Club of New York was founded in 1907 by J.W. Bitson, Secretary of the National Economic League in Boston, and four business leaders from New York City. Its founder, Sochi, follows the successful example of the Economic Clubs in Boston, Providence, Worcester, Portland, Springfield, and New Haven, with the aim of bringing business people and others together for discussion of economic, social, and other public issues in a nonpartisan forum. Operation. The main activity of the Economic Club of New York is to regularly host prestigious guest speakers and its member and their guest only dinners and luncheons. However, these presentations are open to the news media to help foster public discussion of issues important to the general public as well as to those in business and public life. These speaker events are the focal point of the large dinner meetings or occasionally luncheons in the bathroom of a major hotel in Manhattan, New York. The format is geared to serious discussion. There is no entertainment, no presentations, and no extraneous business. The event's entire focus is on the guest of honor and the speaking program. As defined by the club's founders, the issues for discussion were ones of live and practical interest and speakers were to be of national reputation. Speakers. The club has been host to more than 1,200 speakers and the statue, caliber and variety of speakers has become a guiding principle. The audiences have heard from future, current and past presidents of the United States including Woodrow Wilson, William H. Taft, Herbert Hoover, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan and George H. W. Bush. Among the many distinguished foreign leaders to address the club have been Winston Churchill, Mikhail Gorbachev, Indira Handy, Margaret Thatcher, Itzhak Rabin, Karizan Aquina, and Juranji. Other guests of honor have included central bankers, justice of the Supreme Court, secretaries general of the United Nations, governors and heads of international business enterprises, as well as many key cabinet members, military leaders, ambassadors, and scientists. Presentations are followed by a question period in which club members selected in advance and seated on the days will query the speaker. There are no constraints placed on what speaker may say during the presentation. Questioners are not constrained either. An all-male organization for most of its history in 1970, Fortune Magazine reporter Carol Loomis became the first woman admitted to the club. Club speakers often use a platform to put forth their agendas to members and the media. On December 14, 1962, then-President John F. Kennedy made his famous remark calling for a sharp cut in taxes and reform on tax system in order to grow economy and part his said. In short, it is a paradoxical truth that tax rates are too high today and tax revenues are too low and the soundest way to raise the revenues in the long run is to cut the rates now. The experience of a number of European countries and Japan have borne this out. This country often experience with tax reduction in 1954 has borne this out. And the reason is that only full employment can balance the budget and tax reduction can pave the way to that employment. The purpose of cutting tax now is not to incur the budget deficit, but to achieve the more prosperous, expanding economy which can bring a budget surplus. Chairman. The chairman of the board is the chief executive officer of the club and presides at meetings of the club and board, and it has general charge of the business and affairs of the club. This first chairman was A. Burton Hepburn, who served from 1907 to 1909. Hepburn was U.S. Comptroller of the Currency from 1892 to 1893 and later President of the Chase National Bank. Other notable chairmen included Wendell L. Wilkie, 1938 1940, Republican Party nominee for President in 1940, radio and television pioneer David Sarnoff, 1940-1942, James P. Warburg, 1934-1936, Financial Advisor to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Rand V. Ereskoch, 
1987-1990, former CEO of ITT Corporation, Edmund T. Pratt Journey, 1979-1980, former CEO and president of P. Pfizer INC, for whom Duke University Engineering School is named, and Barbara H. Franklin, 2003-2007, one of the first women graduates of Harvard Business School. She also served as the United States Secretary of Commerce under President George H. W. Bush. The current chairman is William C. Dudley, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Presidents. The President is the Chief Operating Officer of the club. The club has had only five Presidents since its founding over a century ago. They were Robert Erskine Ellie, Edwin A. Locker Journey, Raymond K. Price Journey, Paul W. Batman, John Hopkins, and the current president, Barbara M. Van Allen. For information and references and additional information, see the web page.